first person on a hot topic, huh? My name is Michelle Cooper, and I'm here tonight as a parent of a student at PV. I have two older children and have been a parent in this district since 2001. The changes I have seen in this district over the last 22 years have been horrific, to say the least. I'm here speaking on behalf of parental rights. Schools, teachers, counselors, and staff do not have the right to keep families in the dark as to what is going on with their child. Parents' rights are fundamental and supreme. Schools need to support the family unit, not try and replace it. Students have the right to simply be kids without their teachers and staff pushing their agendas on them, without feeling pressure and anxiety of schools trying to change who they are. I should not feel like dropping my child at school is like taking him to Las Vegas. What happens at school stays at school. These are our children, not yours. We know what's best for them, not you. The policies adopted by this district are based on guidance, not law. It's time these policies are replaced with those that acknowledge that parents must be informed and there will be full transparency when it comes to our children. This district and the board need to understand that as parents, our children are protected by us, not from us. It's time to get back to classic education where the district is concerned about real science, history, math, English, etc., and not how to indoctrinate our children. Your job is to educate, not to change students' genders, offer medical interventions, or anything else outside the scope of teaching. In addition, there should be no speakers or outside groups allowed on campus that are not directly related to pre-approved curriculum. Parents have the right to know everything that involves their children. Our children deserve their innocence. Let them be kids. <laughs> Next used up, we to have offend done. people. It was okay and we were accepting. And people just didn't take part if they didn't feel comfortable. Um, it is, to me, distressing that the parents are being taken out of the equation. We love our children. Legal guardians love their children. People have big hearts. Let them have those. They are the ultimate authority on their children. You do not have the psychiatrists and the other people working for you that are equipped to deal with things. And children are evolving beings. And you need to let them evolve. You need to let them move in and out of spaces that maybe now they feel this way, maybe then they don't, and then maybe they land up feeling a different way. That's okay. We will take care of that. We will love and support them. We have big families and small families. Give those families a chance to do what they do best. These are our children. Good evening. Testimony was just heard in the Virginia State Legislature where a 2021 high schooler named Sage, a biological female who told her school that she was now a boy, a fact kept secret from her parents, was removed from her home by the state and placed in a male children's group home where she was abused, raped, and trafficked. Those that participate in upholding the same parental secrecy policies in this district shoulder responsibility for outcomes like SAGE's when policies like these are enforced. If this kind of deceptive, disrespectful, and manipulative policy is allowed to continue within this district, it's only a matter of time before something similar happens here. We can all agree that kids need to be protected from physical abuse that occurs in the home. However, it's not child abuse for a parent to refer to their child by their biological sex. Furthermore, this policy could even prevent the needed aid and understanding of parents during an incredibly difficult time for children, potentially increasing the trauma the child is experiencing by robbing them of available support. Schools don't get to assume parents don't care about raising their children and act accordingly. History has shown they have assumed wrong, and the ones who suffer most are our children. Excluding parents in the life-altering decisions of their children is wrong. Do what's right. Require parental notification of children in anguish. Thank you. Bill.
I will have. Please. Can we, can we please all sit down and have order? Sir, can you just sit on the other side, please? I honestly, everybody, I will not have a hostile environment. Please.